So I've been the danger word you hear all the time in match betting. You know, odds monkey tell you not to do it. Profit accumulator tell you not to do it. You look at the odds matcher on odds monkey, you see all the, the, uh, the, the herbs highlighted in red as if to say danger, don't touch. If you touch them, you're gonna get gobs, you're gonna get restricted and all these kind of things. Now if you don't know what Urban is, it's basically where you're back at a higher price with a bookmaker and then lay it off at a shorter price on the exchange. The concept's very, very simple. And if you do that, you back high and lay low, you guarantee a profit. It's very simple. A lot of people like the idea of it and a lot of people do it because of that reason. The downside and the caveat to it is that bookmakers don't like people who take value. And if you're back at a higher price with a bookmaker continually, and then obviously you, you do whatever you're gonna do, generally lay it off if you match betting, um, you're obviously taking value from the bookmaker and you've got a mathematical edge and this means you're gonna make more money than you lose from the bookmaker. Bookmakers don't like this. Bookmakers like people who place hackers, use their promotions and you know they don't have an edge. They're just recreational gamblers, which is fine, but they're not making any long-term money from them. That's what the bookmaker wants. And when you come in and you use some form of maths, urban, or whatever, you, you know, whatever you're doing, they don't like that. So it stands to reason, and I do agree, that if you're strictly match betting and you're strictly abusing, for lack of a better term, the, the bonuses bookmakers are dishing out, not to herb, not to take high back prices with a bookmaker and lay at, lay at lower prices on the exchange because this will get you gubbed. How long it'll take is, is a different story. But if your focus is match betting and the bonuses and the extra place off and the two up offer and stuff, I would avoid doing standard herbs. But this video is gonna show you exactly how you can herb without taking value from the bookmaker and therefore not get gubbed from the bookmaker. Um, so it might sound a little bit confusing. It's a little bit more difficult than just backing and laying really quickly for a guaranteed profit but it's much, much safer and it'll prolong your bookmaker accounts for that little bit longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain exactly how you can herb the place market to guarantee a profit without taking value from the bookmaker and without uh, arousing any suspicion on your account. So with that being said, let's jump in guys. Just a quick ask, if you do like my content, please do smash that like button, it does help me out massively. And with that being said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over the computer screen and show you exactly what I mean by herbing and not getting gubbed. Okay, so I'm just on the each way matcher on Odds Monkey's website. Now, if you want to check out Odds Monkey for free for a completely free trial, just as usual, the link to do so is down below in the description. Thank you very much if you go through that link, it does help me out massively. So I'm just on the each way matcher on Odds Monkey's website. Now, this is the software that I use to herb bookmakers, but do it so I'm not taking the value from the bookmaker and I'm taking the value specifically from the betting exchange. Now this is good for gubbed bookmaker accounts or accounts where you've been sort of state restricted, not super heavily, but you've got some form of state restriction on your account. But with that being said, the value when doing this, when urban the place market is coming from the place market on the betting exchange, it's not coming from the bookmaker, you know, uh, you would typically have where you get a high price with the bookmaker and lay it off at a shorter price in the exchange. You're not doing that. You're still taking a poor price with the bookmaker, but your value is coming from the place market on the exchange because the exchange's market is based on odds and probability, whereas the bookmaker place payout is based on uh, one quarter odds or one fifth odds from the back odds. So they're not really modeling it and trying to work out the exact probability of a horse landing in an extra place. They're just sort of throwing a fraction on it whereas the place market on the exchange is based on probability, and that is where your edge is coming from, essentially. And obviously, the exchange doesn't really care who wins and who loses. They're taking a commission off the winning better or trader or whatever. They're not bothered that you're taking value from the platform. It just It's just when it goes the other way and you're taking value from the bookmaker. So this is pretty safe to do this, and it's much safer than just doing standard urban. Now, with this urban strategy, which I'm going to show you in just a minute, you can actually combine other horse racing offers. So let's say you're doing a trigger bet to unlock a free bet. You can actually herb to unlock the free bet and make a small profit whilst you herb. On, on the trigger bet, if that makes sense. So there's a various upsides to doing this. It's pretty good. And of course, it's relatively safe as well because the value isn't strictly and only coming from the bookmaker. It's coming more from the exchange side of things. One thing you do need to watch out for when you're doing this strategy, which I will dive into a little bit later into this, uh, into this video, is withdrawals in horse races. So if a horse or various horses get withdrawn from a race and the bookmaker changes the amount of places they're paying out on or they change the fractional payout, 
this can leave you with an imbalance. But don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how you can avoid this so it never happens to you and you never have to worry about the place market changing or the amount of runners that the bookmakers paying out in places being cut down, essentially. So anyway, let's dive into it. I'm going to show you exactly how this software works. Now, this is the each-way matcher. Now, it looks very, very similar to a lot of Odds Monkey's other stuff. It looks similar to the Odds Matcher, relatively similar to the Extra Place Matcher, and, you know, it looks, it's got that same sort of feel to it. Now, the first thing you might sort of do when you first look at it is be a little bit freaked out. You know, it's a natural reaction. There's a lot of numbers and a lot of bright colours and stuff like that. It's not that complicated. I'm going to go through it step by step to give you an understanding of exactly how it works. So if we go from left to right here, you can see where it says event time here. This basically shows you the event time and, and date that the event is scheduled to start on. Now, as I'm recording this on a Thursday night, there's literally only one race left of the day, and that's the 8 p.m. at Kempton. Now, this is a Thursday night race. It's in November. It's not the highest quality race, and the opportunity isn't absolutely massive with this race. There's much better opportunities which come along at much better and higher quality races. This is just the example that I've got to, to show you in this video. Um, so if we start at the left, like I said, you can see the event time. This is the start time. You can see 10th of November at 8 p.m. The next column along, you can see there's loads of horses listed along along the list. That just basically implies it's a it's a horse racing event. The only other option you would have is if it was like a golf player, if it was a, you know a golf tournament and you were doing it on the places on a golf tournament. The next box is where it says bet here, and you can see where it says independence going along that list. That's basically the runner or the golf player or whatever that you're getting on to herb and make a profit. So in this case, you can see it's 8 p.m. at Kempton, it's a horse race, and we're getting on independence to herb and guarantee a profit. Next to that, you can see in this column here where it says bookmaker. That's basically the bookmaker that the back odds are with, which you're going to be betting win and each way on their platform. Now next to that here where it says 23, these are essentially the back odds available with the bookmaker on whatever runner you're getting on, which in my case is independence. The next column along is where it says win exchange. Now that is pretty self-explanatory. That's where you're going to be laying the win of the horse on the exchange. In my case, it's Betfair. And next to that, in the next column, you can see it says place exchange. Now obviously, as this is an extra place strategy, you're going to be placing free bets. You're going to be backing the bookmaker just as normal, but you're going to be doing it each way. You'll then be laying it the win lay on the exchange, which is this column here, and then you'll go to the place market on the exchange and you'll lay the horse to place as well. So there's free bets to place with this type of urban, but it is much, much safer and your accounts will last much longer doing this as opposed to just flat out urban. Now the next option along, you can see here where it says runners, this is pretty important and it essentially, obviously it means the amount of runners that are partaking in that race. Now I'm going to jump back to that in a little bit and I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do to make sure that you don't get stung and you don't get burnt and the amount of runners drops to a level where the bookmaker changes their place terms or the amount of places they're paying out on. It can cause a problem. I'm going to show you how you can avoid that problem so you don't have to worry about that in just a little bit. Next to that you can see here where it says rating. Now this number here is basically the place herb rating. Now there's another herb rating box which is just one along we see here it says herb rating percentage that is the actual herb rating now the first box obviously anything above 100 percent so that's 103.21 percent anything above 100 percent when you're herbing is going to result in you making a profit so that's what you're looking for you're looking for that to be above 100 percent which it is but on the flip side of that you're looking for this herb rating which is too along as i said to be beneath 100 percent so you're looking for the first box, the rating to be above 100%, and the herb rating, two along from that, to be below 100%. Now the actual herb rating, this second one here, is based around the, the back price with the bookmaker and the lay price on the exchange. So basically, if the actual herb rating is above 100%, this indicates that the back price with the bookmaker is higher than the, uh, the lay price on the exchange. And you don't want to be touching that because then you're going back into that standard urban territory again where you're taking a higher price with a bookmaker and laying it off at a short price on the exchange and this strategy is all about taking a poor price with a bookmaker and taking the value out of the place market on the exchange where you can't get gubbed now just in between those two i just kind of missed that out there where it says snr um, that just shows you the return rate you'll get from using this as a free bet um, and then the last box here it says max profit one pound eight 
that's basically the maximum amount of profit you can make from getting on that runner. Now, as I said, this is a low quality race. It's late at night in November. Um, there's not a great deal of opportunity here on this race, but on some of the bigger meetings, especially on the weekend, there's always some pretty good opportunities. So to quickly summarize what I've been going across the pretty, pretty self-explanatory, you've got the race type here, what you're backing and what you're laying, independence, the bookmaker it's with, the bookmaker's odds, the win exchange that you're laying the horse to win, and the place exchange which you're laying the horse to place. Um, the amount of runners, which is in, which is important, which I'll show you what I mean about that in a little bit. And then, you, obviously, the, the important bit, the super important bit when it comes to making a profit from uh, place urban is that the rating, this, this one here, this rating, is above 100%. And you make sure that the herb rating, the actual herb rating too along from that is below 100%. If you've got those two things intact, this is where you're going to be able to herb. This is where you're going to be able to do it relatively safely without taking too much risk on your bookmaker account. Now, you can also do all this kind of stuff using the extra place matcher as well. Now, I've got another video which explains exactly how you can do it on the extra place matcher. Now, this all works in much more depth and how you can actually profit from, you know, getting on extra places a guaranteed profit. When obviously most people might say there's never anything what's even close to 100%. You can still do it. I'll leave that video, which I'll explain exactly all the nuances around it. I'll leave that video in the end screen of this video in just a bit. If you do want to check it out and you do want to digest as much information on this as you, as you possibly can before you jump into it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down to this, uh, this Bet365 option here. So you can see here where I've highlighted Bet365 option, independence, Kempton at 8 p.m., Back odds are 23. We've got Betfur for the win lay and Betfur for the place lay. In this box here, you can see we've got a 109% place herb, which is very, very good. In this box, two along from it. I'll just scroll up a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So this box here, 109%, and then two along from it, you can see the herb rating is beneath 100%, so it's 98%, which of course is, is good. So what you can do, once, you, once you've found this situation, you've got a good rating here. The actual herb rating is below 100%, so you're not taking too much value from the bookmaker. You can actually come over here to where it says Open Calculator. Once you click that, that's going to bring up a calculator. Now, this essentially is just the each way calculator. You can get this standalone on Odds Monkey in the, in the settings and stuff as well. This is just uh, built into the each way matcher. It's skinned and themed a little bit differently, but it's the same thing. So basically, all you've got to do is you've got to follow three simple steps. So you can see here, where it says step one, that's the first step you would do. So you're back £8.50 each way in this example. And then it tells you that's obviously a £17 total stake. With the bookmaker, Bet365, at back odds of 23. And then in step two here where it says lay the win for £8.51 with Betfur at odds of 23. The liability will be £187.22. And then once you've done that, you move on to step three. Lay the place for £10.46 with a bet and exchange bet for at odds of 5.3 and then it shows you your liability, which is £44.98p. So once you've done all those three things, those three basic steps, you can see the profit is shown in the top right hand corner there of £1.55. Now what you might be thinking is, you know, I've tried extra places, it flies around really quickly, I might be in the process of doing step one, complete step one, get to step two, and then the price is moved off somewhere else, I'm not going to be able to deal with that. This strategy is much slower and it's much easier to do because the bookmakers prices are always going to be shorter. They're not going to be scrambling to try and change their prices and get the, the edge back in their favour because it's already in their favour in terms of the win odds being lower than the, the win odds on the betting exchange and the lay odds on the betting exchange. So it's going to be much, much more stress-free. It's not going to be, you know, sit around, having a cup of tea, chilling out, relaxing, but you're going to be under much less less pressure. And if you practice on small stakes, you'll very, very quickly get the hang of it. So that sort of answers that question. And it also shows it down here as well in this little more visual section. So you can see your bookmakers each way bet. Odds are 23 lay the win odds are 23 i'm not entirely sure why they're both the same i would generally make sure that the lay the win odds with the betting exchange are higher than the bookmakers back price and then in the next column here you can see lay the place it shows the odds it shows the commission the available amount of money and you can manipulate all this as well to whatever situation you've got now what this each way calculator does which is integrated into the each way matcher is it actually shows you the maximum amount of profit you can make from urban th this particular selection 
Now this, like I've said earlier, this race isn't the highest of quality. Uh, sometimes you can get like three, four, five, six quid out per race, especially when you've got a big meeting, generally on the weekend on Saturdays. It's not gonna be mega money, you're not gonna be herbing for 20 or 30 quid every time you do it. It's just gonna be skimming and scalping little profits out all the time. Admittedly, much larger than, than that little profit there. Um, but what you might be noticing, you can see here it says you're gonna have a profit one pound 55 you might be able to see the liabilities are massive so you can see you'd type 187 pounds just on the the lay the win you'd tie up 45 pounds on the place layer and then you'd tie up 17 pounds total on the win and each way back bet with the bookmaker so you're tying up quite a little bit of money there for a one pound 55 profit now a lot of people might not have that money to tie up on the betting exchange and um, with the bookmaker of course and you might just not want to it might just not seem reasonable to do that and this is happening because the win odds are pretty high the back the win back odds and, and the lay odds here are 23 so they're pretty high when you're laying at 23 you're, you're exposing yourself quite a lot in terms of the liability so what you can do to really mitigate this and tie up a really small amount of money whilst keep keeping your profits at a decent level um, you just want to find runners which have smaller back odds so you know 23 is pretty significantly high back odds if you can get odds of like five or six and, and stuff like that, if not lower, and you're still getting an herb, the liability is going to be small and you're still going to get that profit, which of course it is what you want. Now I'm just going to open this back out to show you exactly what I mean. So what we'll do is we'll come into this, this section and we'll just half the, uh, the, the back odds and the lay odds with the bookmaker and the betting exchange. So we'll just put the, the odds at, as 12 on both the bookmaker and on the lay the win on the exchange as well. And then I'll just sort of half the, the place market as well to about 2.4, we'll, we'll say. So once you've done that, just click recalculate. And can you see you get a decent little profit up there, £4.50. And the amount of money you're tying up is significantly reduced. So you, it's probably about, about £100 less between each of the three steps. And you're getting a decent profit on top of that as well. And if we half it again, just for argument's sake, so let's say the win odds are 6, the lay odds are 6. And we'll just say... It, uh, the horse has got odds of 1.7 to land in a place. It's over 50% chance it's going to land in a place. Click recalculate. You can see you're tying up even less money there as well. So you're looking, if you've got a smaller bankroll or if you don't want to tie up so much exposure and liability on the exchange and with a bookmaker, you're looking for shorter odds, really, to be honest with you. And that's obviously indicated in this odds uh list section column whatever you want to say right there so yeah in a nutshell that's exactly what it is you know it's listing the best options for taking place ads which aren't going to impact your bookmakers account health too much because once again you're not taking a value price with them you're taking the value from the place market on the exchange uh, and that's what it does each time you click on refresh at the top here which is this blue button it refreshes the information and it shows you the best available matches and what you're looking for is an uh, a place herb rating to be above 100 percent but the actual herb rating so the back odds being lower than the lay odds on the exchange this to be beneath 100 percent now there's also some settings along here as well you can do an automatic refresh every one minute or every two minutes or you can just manually manually refresh by clicking the blue button you can click on filter you can change a few of these bits of information around here so this normal normal herb rating as i touched on before you don't want to be taking anything above 100 percent so it might be wise to set that to 100 percent so you don't get anything any normal herb ratings above 100 percent and then you can change like the each way rating the s and r rating if you're using it for free bets and the back odds as well should you want to do that um there's more stuff in there as well like sort of the exchanges you want to use bookmakers so if you're completely state restricted and you don't want them to appear you can deselect them if you don't have them you know things like that markets so it's, it's all, like i said it's golf and horse racing with this because it's an extra play strategy and then sports as i just said golf and horse racing so it's a pretty handy little feature and as well you can sort of select itv only races and races which uh, include extra places which will give you more profit a lot of the time as well by selecting those two options there so pretty nifty little piece of software, it's nothing overly complicated, it'll get you some nice little profits out each and every week. But what I do want to touch on, just very quickly, 
is what I was mentioning earlier. You know, this problem you get where you're getting a lot of horses what get withdrawn and then the bookmaker changes the place term. So they might be offering, um, what, what was this, three places. Um, a big selection of horses might withdraw from the race and then they might move the three places down to two places and then you've got a potential big hazard, a potential big problem looming if the horse lands in that third place which is no longer covered by the bookmaker and the place market. So as you can see in this runner's section, in this race there's 13 runners racing. And if you look at this guide on Odds Monkey, it's called Making Money from Each Way Bets. Just search that on the training section if you want to find that. Uh, it, it's pretty good, it's got a bit of decent information there. But if you look at this section here, this is basically, as a rule of thumb, what places bookmakers pay out on with how many runners are in the race. So you can see if there's 16 plus runners in a, in a handicap, they'll pay out on first, second, third and fourth. Generally, the vast majority of the time, they kind of all stick to this. If there's eight plus runners, which there is in the race that we're looking at, you can see they'll pay out on first, second, and third. If there's five to seven runners, they'll pay out on first and second. So what can happen, obviously, there's 13 runners here. It's way above this eight plus runner mark here. But let's assume these numbers are all saying eight here. There's eight runners in this race, we're going to assume. And we get on the race. We back, the, back a horse winning each way. We back independence winning each way. We lay it, lay the win, that is, and then we lay the place. And then... A horse gets withdrawn, a horse pulls out of the race, which means, in our example, there's no seven runners. The race drops from eight runners to seven runners. So you can see here we're right on the threshold of eight runners being paid on first, second and third. But if it drops down to seven runners because of a horse withdrawing from the race, you can see the bookmaker is likely to change the, the amount of places they're paying out on from first, second and third to just first and second. They're no longer paying out on three places because a horse has dropped out and it's gone below the threshold. So if that's the case, if, if let's say there's only eight runners in this race for argument's sake, what you'll see is all these uh, these numbers, they'll all say eight of course, because there's eight runners, they'll all be highlighted in red. And this is to illustrate to you that there's, there's, you know, there's potential danger here. And if you're doing this 20 minutes out, you're right near this threshold and if a horse withdraws at the last couple of minutes or something, you're going to be left with that imbalance and you, you need everything covered, of course. So what I would say, just, you know, bear in mind this, bear in mind that bookmakers can and they do change the amount of places they're paying out on, on a whim, before the start of a race, if, you know, if, if too many horses get pulled and it doesn't fit into each of the individual thresholds. And of course, Odds Monkey will be showing you in red, you know, there's potential danger here. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you're not doing this too far out. Make sure you've got a good understanding that a place could be pulled because a runner, you know, too many runners have been pulled from the race. So that is exactly how it works. You're looking for a high rating above 100% in this rating box, but a rating below 100% in this box here. And obviously you're looking for the max profit to be as large as you possibly can. And if the win odds are low as well, you're going to be tying up a very small amount of liability in relation to if they're high, like they are there. At back odds of 23. There's a little bit to digest right there. I understand it can be sound a little bit confusing. I've broken this down super simply in another video about how you can do this extra play strategy and herb without taking value from the bookmaker and without the risk of getting imminently gubbed. If you want to check it out, I'll pop it up on screen right now. Like I said earlier, it's a good watch and it will illustrate exactly how this works in a step-by-step -step format so you can fully digest and understand exactly how this strategy works. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you soon in the next video.